Okay, now we're going to do a sashing using the arch guide. And the arch guide I use mostly for double wedding rings, but it's a wonderful curve. And I can verify that it was the very first tool to ever have a shape besides a straight piece of acrylic. So it's a kind of sentimental to me. But I put some um, tape on it where I want it. I'm, I came over a quarter of an inch to the edge of the arch guide. That means I can start right in the corner. And then I put a piece of masking tape across the side. So if I come down here and bring my thread up and go right down to the corner. I started up from the corner just a little bit so I didn't start right in the corner. And then I'll just hold the arch guide like this and come around like this keeping the machine right against the edge of the arch guide. And then I'm going to move it down, and I have some more tape that I've placed for the next marking. And I can just stitch in the ditch as I come across here, just very carefully there to the edge of my tool. And then I'll come across this way. And this makes a very gentle curve like that. And now I'm going to, again, stitch in the ditch and right down here. Be nice to have my straight ruler. I just don't have it available right now to, um, to do that little bit of stitching. Now on this side, again, I'm going to bring it up so that the tape matches my seam line. I'm looking right through so that the masking tape matches my seam line. And you can see I'm a quarter inch away here and a quarter of an inch away there. And so I'll just follow my line across. There we go. And right over to there. And then move it down again to the top of my masking tape. Take some little stitches right there in the ditch to get even with my tool. And then come across here. And then I'll do my little stitches to tie off. Now that's just using it in a sashing area. I'm sure there are lots of ideas that you can use um, in sashings and borders to, to use your arch guide. Um, when we are using it on a double wedding ring, you can see how easy it is to just stitch in the ditch around the sides of those wedding rings. And you can use your machine on the inside too. And so it's a very, very handy tool for, um, for curves.